The PBS regular and documentary filmmaker Ken Burns premiered a documentary in 2009 called The National Parks, America's Best Idea. I think that's a very accurate title. The national park system in the United States is one of our greatest achievements as a country. The best part of that achievement is we really didn't have to do much. We just had to sort of leave it alone. And I think that's a great idea. Let nature do its own thing. Let people enjoy it, don't build on it, don't develop it, and most importantly, don't destroy it. This video is about national parks that I've been to and enjoyed. I wanna let you know that up front because there are some really important national parks absent from this video. And I'm sure people will notice this and ask why. There's your answer. When you wanna say things like, where's Denali? I don't have to answer in Alaska. You know why it's not on here. If we get enough likes and enough views on this video, I'll make a second, maybe even a third one. I do plan on visiting Denali soon. It was supposed to be actually this April, but that's not working out. And I'm gonna do Crater Lake really soon too here in Oregon. I've been here 10 years and haven't found my way to Crater Lake yet, it's weird. If this is the first video in the series that you've watched, these have been requested by a lot of the channel subscribers, including a handful of nurses that suggested that I try and help people get their minds off things and decompress. So there won't be much talking like my regular videos. We'll get back to those eventually. These are meant for you to relax and get through these stay at home quarantine orders. But yeah, here's my travel video of the national parks. On March 1st, 1872, President Ulysses S. Grant signed the paper that created the first national park, Yellowstone. When you first visit Yellowstone, you'll see that it has some of the strangest terrain anywhere on Earth. Within its 2.2 million acres, there sleeps a giant volcano, one half the world's hydrothermal features, including 300 geysers. I've always thought it kind of funny that people go all the way to Africa for a safari, when Yellowstone's right here. You have eagles, wolves, grizzly bears, moose, deer, bighorn sheep, and American bison, all living wild within the park, and they really aren't terribly uncommon to see. Glacier National Park has some of the freshest air you will ever breathe in your life. That's the first thing I noticed getting off the train in West Glacier. Last year I got on Amtrak's Empire Builder train and went to Glacier National Park. It was so easy. The train drops you off at the entrance of the park, right by Lake McDonald. All you have to do is take pictures and try and contain the smile you'll have. You don't want to smile too much, people will think you've been eating the mushrooms.
Everybody knows about the greatest example of erosion, the Grand Canyon. We learned about it in school and on the Discovery Channel. Countless movies and TV shows have used the Grand Canyon as their backdrop, including my second favorite episode of The Brady Bunch. The first being the Hawaiian one where they had the evil tiki doll. Here's the Grand Canyon. Zion National Park gets the award for looking fake. Honestly, when you sit in the valley floor of this place, you will think it was created in a computer for a movie. I took a DJI pocket camera with me, one that makes it look like you're floating, you know, while you walk. Totally worth it. I did trip about a dozen times while filming and walking, but, you know, I thought for sure I'd need that insurance they offer it for it. I didn't. It still works to this day. But I am sure all the people watching me that day thought I had uh, gotten into the mushrooms.
I've been to the Rocky Mountains National Park at least a dozen times in my life. All the way back when I was nine years old for the first time, and two years ago when I took the Amtrak train home from Chicago and went through the Rocky Mountains. It's amazing. It doesn't need any explanation. Acadia National Park is located in the state of Maine, southwest of Bar Harbor. The park takes up about half of Mount Desert Island. The first time I was here in around 1995, it was an eye-opener. I first of all had never heard of Acadia National Park, and the eye-opening part was the landscape. I had touched on the Sequoia National Forest in my Travel California video, but I felt it was worth another look. Earlier in this video I talked about using computers to recreate landscapes. The Sequoia National Forest is one of the most often used models for this type of video. It's not just the park, the surrounding area is breathtaking. Always love going to Sequoia. The Grand Teton National Park can be cold, so bring a jacket. 
It's always beautiful, so bring a camera. A friend once explained West Virginia's landscape as something that could change the mind of an atheist. The Grand Tetons in Wyoming, I'm sure, has done that for more than a few people. Sunblock, water, a comfortable chair, time to watch a sunset in Death Valley is all you need for a once in a lifetime experience. The Great Smoky Mountains between Asheville, North Carolina and Knoxville, Tennessee in the Appalachian Mountains is one of those places that if you got lost, you might think, I'm okay with not being found for a while. Alright, that's today's video. I hope you guys like looking at the national parks. I think they're amazing. I think everyone should visit at least a handful of them in their life. That's just my opinion. Anyway, if you like these videos and you like me putting out these travel type ones and the more positive ones, please leave a comment, give the video a big thumbs up, share it on your social media so we can keep these things going. Everybody have a great day. Stay healthy. Be nice to each other.